And here it is. The Bodka, or Boatka, if you want a Botka. Botka, Botka, Botica. I'm not quite sure. But it's here, it's arrived. Um, I ordered this on Monday, was it Monday? Yeah, Monday when the um, uh, when the, the offer opened and it arrived here on Friday morning. Um, it's now Sunday night, I've sat on this, I haven't opened it, I just wanted to do this for the review and have my honest and immediate opinion from it. So here we go. Uh, Spinnaker, <coughs> bright orange cardboard box with their great logo on the top. Uh, it's quite a nice little, uh, quite like this on the side, I don't know if that's normal on all their boxes. Um, I've never had one before, it's the first. Um, bit of foam protection, um, and then inside we have a, well, I mean some of you, I think I've seen this already, it's a sort of pelican type case. Um, get rid of that, bubble wrap. Uh, and here it is. Um, so it's in quite a nice uh, pelly type case, um, spinnaker logo on the top there, it's got a little plastic. We'll that leave that on for a minute. Um, and it's quite nice when they come in boxes like these. So this adds a little bit a bit better than a cardboard kind of box. Um, so yeah, it's got a good little finish to it. Um, so let's have a look inside. Wow. So obviously we've got the watch. We've got the extra rubber strap. We've got a tool for changing the help you change the strap and a little screwdriver. Hmm, okay. I mean to be fair, I think I'd expect well, I suppose it is what it is. A little bit cheap. Well I think everything else seems to be really really good quality and um, so we've got in the back here oh that's quite nice Can you see that this comes oh that's nice how about that that's quite nice um so okay back to here we'll uh, let me pop that back in again so inside here it's the boring part i know you're not really bother about what's in what's in this bit um, but we've got we've got three things. So we've got um, the international warranty card, uh, the all right. So this is interesting. So this is the to say that it's a limited limited edition. A um, little bit more information about the Botka boat Botka um, in there. It's quite nice material. This is like that soft touch. Um, stuff as they, I know we don't really bother with these. I'll probably never open this again. Um, but, oh, well, there you go. Look, all right. So uh, I don't mind sharing that with you. So mine is number two two seven five of six hundred. So as I say, limited. They were limited to only six hundred. And I've got two seven five. So that's quite nice. Um, and then this is instruction manual. Um, crown. Uh, altering the strap and obviously setting the time etc but uh, pretty self explanatory I think um, but still um, quite nice I'll say never had a, a, a spinnaker watch before um, that's, uh, so that's pretty good um, so back to the watch um, so oh what's this all right, so there's the uh, spare pins there, I guess, for the the other strap for this one. Um, let's just have a look. Let me add this oh, out of here. Oh, it seems like that's stuck in. Oh, that's crap, that's stuck. Um, oh, this is nice. So uh, the rubber strap's got the spinnaker logo on. If you can just see that just there, which is quite nice. Um, try and get this off. Um, nice bit of detail on the on the inside, um, and then again, spinnaker on there. So yeah, I quite like that. Um, quite nice. 
Um, but ah, look, this is the important bit. Um, have a look at this dial. So, um, movement inside, it's uh, uh, a Myota 9015, it's a Japanese automatic movement. Um, stainless steel case, we're 42mm, which is perfect size for me. Um, case thickness of 13mm. It's a sapphire, sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective recoating coating, which is, is pretty standard now, I think, for, for most things. Um, unidirectional bezel. Ooh. Ooh, that's not. Ooh. Wow, let me listen to this. That, I, I'm a bit of a fan of bezels, I have to admit. Um, that's a nice sounding bezel, and, and the, there really is no plane there um, at, at all. Does it? Let's have a look. Let's see. We get to line up nicely. I think that's on there. Is that on? There we go. So I think that's lined up right. I'm just gonna just give it a wipe. Um, yeah, I think that's lined up right. So that's nice. That's a nice bit of. Uh, I don't know if you can see the gnarling around the edge there, which is quite nice. You may have just heard a bang then. It's uh, it's uh, Sunday night and they're still letting fireworks off. But um, hey ho. So um, I'm going to take off the, the wrapping. I'll do that off camera and then we'll come back to this and uh, we'll, we'll go through the rest of the details. So again, um, it's pretty nice to see that it's a milled, milled steel clasp. And you know, when you close it, it's you get a good, and especially this, that is solid. I mean, that's not coming off. You know, um, the bracelet itself obviously is um, solid links, not hollow, which again, um, you know, for a watch at this price point, is, uh, is really good. Um, now the back of it, I'm not sure if you can see too well, I will do some more close-ups um, into the back of the watch, but obviously you can see the Spinnaker logo in the centre at the back there. Um, um, but it has to be said that the, you know, it's a solid, it's a solid piece of watch. Um, I've not weighed it yet to compare um, what the stats say um, from Spinnaker, um, but as I say, it's a, it's a absolutely it's a solid, solid piece. There you go, Spinnaker logo on the crown there. Um, if you just, it's a screw down crown. There you go. Nice and responsive. And then the, the date set is on the. There you go. You can see, and it makes a nice solid click when it goes down there. Um, hacking seconds. And the actual movement itself is is quite a smooth. It's quite a smooth movement there. I'll just put it up to the to mic so you can hear that. It's not. Uh, that's be quite. Um, again, um, you know, it's not it's not scratchy or anything like that. It's a, it's a nice movement. Um, screw down crown. But the, the 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 big thing about this watch, obviously, is the reason why I got this because it was so different was that floating kind of um, indices on there. Um, I mean that is just I've never seen that in a watch before and it is quite it's quite stunning the 
but you can see that there. I'll, uh, I'll cut in some, some nice close-ups with the macro so you can see that. As the second hand sweeps, um, obviously underneath each loomed indices. Um, which brings me on to the loom, yeah. Um, okay, so let's see what it feels like on the wrist. Um, so, oh by the way, wrist check with my sea dweller um, so I have a seven and a half centimetre wrist uh, seven and a half inch uh, seven and a half inch wrist um, approximately nine centimetres um, now I have already adjusted this uh, bracelet um, and taken two uh, taken two links out of it um, But for me, I mean, this is, I mean, this is how I, I like to wear. I, I wear my watch quite low down. I mean, uh, many people, you know, wear them, wear them higher up. Um, I like them, I like them here. We're not there's not too much movement there, but enough for the rotor to, uh, to do its thing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I think it's quite. Uh, I think it's good. It's a nice watch. Um, Feels nice on the wrist. Feels feels weighty. It's not too, not too noisy. Um, nice bezel action. As I said, um, it's a uh, it's a 120 click bezel. Um, stainless steel case. Uh, water resistant. Water resistant to 300 meters. Um, and it comes with a two year warranty. And so to be fair, I mean, it, for, for 600, 690 pounds is the retail. Um, Spinnaker do sometimes offer uh, discounts. Um, I'm not sponsored by Spinnaker. Um, I paid full, full. well, I paid, initially was gonna pay retail price for this. However, they do offer um, a little discount. Um, so the retail's 690, um, I paid just a little over 500 for it. Um, and I'm really happy for it. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's a great watch. Um, so if you've got Spinnaker watches, um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think to this. Um, the quality. Um, I would certainly recommend it. You know, if you're looking in this price range um, of a stainless steel sports watch, then I would definitely go for this. Um, I, one, thing, one thing I haven't really mentioned is the is this color, this coloring on the dial. Um, I really like this this sort of like pale blue, um, contrasting contrasting with the orange and the black. Um, it, it's really really nice. It is good. Uh, it's my taste. And they make other ones. They do the orange, um, the white, as well. Um, So there we go. I think I prefer it on the rubber strap. It did that element of the colour carrying on through from the dial into the strap. I think really, really works. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, put some comments below. Um, don't forget to like. Um, press the bell icon. And then when I do more updates, you'll get to hear about it. But it really does help with figures. It helps with the viewing algorithms of YouTube. Um, as I said before, I'm not sponsored, um, I'm not monetarised, um, I'm just doing this because it's a bit of fun and I love watches and a few people have asked what's the watch like, well there you go, that was my opinion, see you later guys.